right, top of the morning to you. We just pulled up to the USDA Tropical Research Center and it's about five minutes to seven. This place hasn't even opened yet. And if you all remember, we came here last time and I've got my trusty partner, Mr. Uh, Matthew Reese, what's ripening, sitting next to me. And last time we were here, Matt scored a easy peel jackfruit. So he made a video of this thing and like literally peeled the stem out it all separated from the seeds i mean just like ridiculous almost like a uh what do they call those jackfruits chippa kind of like a chumpadack like a chumpadack so you know that's the kind of jackfruits we're looking for small easy peel low latex um so we're here to get a couple more of those jackfruits we want to bring them back to the farm and plant them out and we just found out some sad news yesterday that um unfortunately with some of the new uh government we have in place that they're defunding this place so you know who knows what's going to happen to it who knows what's happening to these guys jobs i looked it up on google last night it's not looking too good so we're gonna get in while we can yeah we also got some uh some down low information on where to look for the best jackfruit on this property <laughs> i forgot about that yeah so we talked to a uh whoa peacock landing in front of us two there's of them one, there's another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh they just went off the road so usda tropical research center we're heading in. This place is in, in an absolutely beautiful area. I really hope they don't turn it into some cookie cutter, you know, neighborhood. Um, I don't know, we need to talk about that a little more. So maybe uh, something can happen. We'll try to save this place. Beautiful. Well, top of the morning to you. I smell them. I think we'll be okay. It's just, it's all political right now. Let's wait and see. Well, that's some we good news. See what, we yeah. to see what Congress passes. And even if it got defunded, how quickly could that happen? Well, they said, I mean, it's, it's, a, 27, it's a 2017 budget. So wow. if they went tomorrow and said, listen, we're closing it down, it could be by the end of the year. You know, we're, if they go and say that, uh, I should say that we're closing down, but we're approving Trump's budget as is without any changes. That's crazy, by yeah. By the end of the fiscal year, which would be October. Can you catch this? Yeah, you want that Haas? Look at it. it looks like it's ready, right? It does, yeah. Is this one of the better ones? It's just a big jack. He said that this section here was black gold hybrids. This was the first generation, and he said they get better as you go down the pit. Okay. Somebody told us. Yeah, like I said, I'm not the... The one know. that we, the one that I like was, it was one of these... He said there was a year that he saw 26 degrees and didn't even get leaf burn. Huh. Which I was like blown away. So if it's all right with you, I'd like to pick this one. And then I want to look around and see if there's maybe one one or two more we can... Okay. We can grab. Sure. This is a little bigger than what we want to grow, but... It's huge, yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. That thing's a stud. A yeah. I don't think anyone else is going to eat it. No, that's fine as long as it's the cold hardy seed. Can you, uh... It's going to, it's going to... Grab it. All right, we got my man, Mr. Reese, up here climbing the tree. Hopefully getting a smaller one this time. What you coming out with? This one's already ripe on the tree. Nice. See it's soft? It's got a soft spot. Give it a whiff. Can you whiff it? Snatch and, ooh, scratch and sniff that thing, huh? That's, Beautiful. That's fully right. Good job, Mr. Probably. Reese. Well, what, did, uh, what did Robert Bartum tell us? What were those three? Uh, give it a little scar on the... Give it a little scar, see what kind of milk comes out. Also, he talked about where the brown spotting started. See how it's coming out? Milky? Straight up milk. That one, well, it's a little separated. But it probably still needs a little bit of time. I think there's probably other ones. Yeah, we don't need to rush this one. All right, big jackfruit, little fruits, bottom of the pit. This might be the one. Are those railroad tracks? Yeah, look at this one right yeah, here. At the, at the top, there's railroad tracks. That's beautiful. Look at that ripening little guy. See that? Yeah, the five pounder. That's a good one. That'll do it. Any tag on this tree or no? None on these ones, huh? Hey, there's a whole planting of seven of them. This one looks the best. He's going up. Matt, which one you got in your eyes there? The one behind me. I'm just trying to turn around. Okay. 
Oh, that little guy. Yeah. The one we originally saw. This one, it's only ripe on. It's only good on one side. This one might be better actually. Let me take a look at this one. Are we looking? I think that bottom one looks the best. It's got nice separation. Yeah, I think that's the most. That top one's got nice spotting on it though. Yeah, but it doesn't look as uh, brown stem as far along. Okay. I mean, if you came back in a couple weeks, it might be better. I think this is better. No latex. This huh? thing's ripe. It's soft. Nice. I got it. I got it. Less than ten pounds, actually. Woo! Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see him up in there, but he's deep, uh, 20 foot up in the tree. Probably be the last one we get. He's already cut it. Look at he's holding it like a baby. All right, see if I can turn this down. Hold on, let me put this down. <laughs> he's going for the handoff. Going for the double fisted. Drop it, drop it. Oh, nice job. Oh, that's a gooey one. Yeah, that's one I'm putting down. I wouldn't pass by that as latex free. Oh, this is not a latex free jackfruit. She's going. Alright, Matt, you survived. <laughs> you hit every limb on the way down or what? <clears throat> I hit him, I didn't hit him very hard though. Alright. Well done. <clears throat> This is what happens when you don't get to the jackfruit before they're ripe. Uh, something moves in. So, something chewed into that. The bugs are in there. It stinks. You know, if we don't harvest these, they're just going to go to waste. Not a lot of people come out here and actually pick these for research. And some people have them shipped, but shipping's pretty expensive on a, you know, like that 50 pounder we just put in the back of the truck. Wouldn't be so bad on the little ones we got this time. This little one's soft. Really? Yeah. Well, it's not a pretty tree, but if it's soft, it's, it's a cutie. Tree. I wouldn't have guessed that was soft at all. Yeah. Wow. It's going to only have fruit like from there down. Yeah, it's a little off shaped. Any latex? A little bit. Well, there'll be some in the stem. It's going up. You want to carry the baby? I'll carry the baby. I'm working hard over here, guys. Little brother and the older brother. Woo! This one's gonna be. Mmm, this smells delicious, dude. Yeah, this is smells good too. Wow. Wow, look at those banyan trees. Gorgeous. All right, I got a truck over here somewhere. We got to get back to the Airbnb. We got a 10 a.m. at Fruit and Spice Park. And uh, we're out. All right, another successful morning at the uh, USDA. Matt over here broke in his bug suit pretty well. It's official. A uh, it's a real deal bug suit now. Once it gets jackfruit sap on sap it, so. on the hood, sap <laughs> on the face mask. Yeah, it's kind of ruined, but um, it's all good. That's what it's used for, you know. Getting out here, and the, the bugs actually weren't that bad this time. So I don't know if they sprayed with some heinous, heinous chemicals or what happened, but there wasn't that many mosquitoes. So definitely a little bit more in check. We've got eight jackfruits probably in the back of the truck so we got a mess to go home and clean up I also got some answers from Chris there about the USDA losing funding and it looks like that should get chopped down so hopefully this place isn't going anywhere we've got our hopes up that uh, next time we come it'll still be here so um, yeah, onward to the edge we're uh, we're heading to fruit and spice so we'll see you guys in a little bit see ya.